Hey guys, this is Vengeance and this is the first video that I'm making from my new computer. As you can see, graphics are, I think, as you can see, recommended it's maximum and I can record with maximum graphics and no problem whatsoever. And pretty decent frame ratio, given the fact that I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, 6 core, almost 4 gigahertz per core, 3.9 and the graphics card is NVIDIA GTX 760 so here we got Le LA Kagwa whatever we'll call him LA K or Lake and he's in his mouse on Himmelsdorf and usually see in fact city maps are the best for the mouse because the mouse doesn't want to be flanked and really Himmelsdorf is one of the best Himmelsdorf and any map where you can safely side scrape and this is actually encounter Himmelsdorf and by usually with the mouse you want to go where the battle is going to be and by playing Himmelsdorf encounter and going to the hill you are gu guaranteed to run into a lot of enemy tanks sometimes even all their team very rarely but it happens so you could say this is a pretty good matchup for him however there are a lot of tier 10 tanks so it's going to be some fight as you can see he's in a very good side scraping position the enemies are able only to shoot at his side at an angle like this because he is protected by this pile of junk <laughs> i don't know what to call it and because of that he's able to put effective fire into them but they are not able to return fire most of them are not even trying to shoot at him this, this batshit was the first one who shot him and instead they are making the good decision and firing at other allies he fires over the allied I7 and finishes off the T30 and this is where they start getting flanked so there is an IS-7 there is a T-54 and his platoon mate in the object 140 fighting against this IS-7 however the another IS-8 from the back of the IS-7 manages to kill off his platoon mate but he's able to finish off the IS-7 in time before it was able to fire another shot which was useful so he knows he really needs to flank those guys and this is where you'll be able to see the power of the mouse I mean he's going to rush and be shot at from so many targets and still he will get away with it without almost losing any health at this stage a poor shot there in the E75 he I don't know, he maybe didn't realize that the E75 was going to... The, he was going to get off the hop he was on, so... Instead of shooting the lower plate, he would have hit the upper plate. And that is almost no chance. He has no chance in penetrating that. So he's moving around the corner. He's getting shot at by an MX-5120. The MX, is, like the other, stopped shooting at him. The T-57 Heavy starts shooting at him and he manages to penetrate him once and this is all the damage he's been, he has taken until now The second shot of damage that he gets is from a Lorraine in his back So, and also this is as you can see update 9.1 and I'm sure the you know the 9.1 update hit the live servers because there was that one gigabyte update. However, the things that they wanted to introduce, like the smoke from the engine, they kept that, but they didn't keep the the explosion of the tanks and also those crappy gun sounds that I didn't like. I enjoyed the explosions, but the gun sounds I didn't like them. And this is with no mods, so I'm running with no mods right now. And as you can see, he has only lost less than a third of his health. And 
most of the enemy team in fact there is only DC 100 left and they got their ass kicked he sets him on fire and finishes him off however his team is losing and it's him and the nice hate against the Waffen Trigger of U100 he puts one shader into the side of the turret of the Waffen Trigger and the Waffen Trigger stopped for no apparent reason he might have probably just I don't know he probably ran out of ammunition yes he m surely ha must have run out of ammunition because he was firing the 150 millimeter and I don't really know why he stopped here because he could have rammed this Lorraine he probably thought the Lorraine was going to be able to go around him but if he rammed this guy he might have been able well I just spoiled what is going to happen I mean he's getting capped and he, he, right now if, if right now he starts moving for the base he might get there in time the mouse is very slow this is encounter however so he might get there in time but it's very li risky though so let's see will he be able to get in time apparently nope so right now he stays to fight off and there are both of them here so if he, if he stays off to kill them he is never going to be able to defend in time so he made the choice here he's going to go for 9 kills instead of taking a risk and trying to defend because of course if he goes to defend those guys if they see he's not interested in them they are just going to shoot his back and he's going to die so there is really no chance here of winning he has to fight those guys and try to get as much damage out as possible he's trying to angle against both of them as you can see the type 61 He's not a brave boy, he knows he's a, a one shot kill for the mouse. And as you can see again, he's trying to angle. He wants to finish off this type 61, so the type because if this type 61 manage, manages to go around him, he's pretty dead. And now it's a one on one against an S7. The S7 can't get around him because he's in a good spot, he thought this move. And right here you will be able to see the weak spot of the IS-7 which is, let me pull, which is this bit here and I'm pretty, I'm not entirely sure if this was before available but before this when I was face hugging an IS-7 even in my 100 which doesn't have that good penetration I would shoot it here and really not in this bit because this is very well armored this is like the turret front as well armored as the turret front if I'm not mistaken what I mean is this periscope the upper part of the periscope if you shoot there you're just going to destroy the periscope but if you shoot the lower part you're going to pretty much penetrate so the base is already 60% and there is no chance he can defend this right now if it, only if the object comes to fight so he's aiming for the weak spot of the IS-7 and really now you can see the difference of size between the mouse and the i7 the i7 is so small compared to the mouse and because he has 1000 health more than the i7 he had strong chances of winning however the i7 has just damaged his ammo rack the bright size is that he's going to finish off this i7 in two shots so one shot he's on 339 health however he's reloading really slow as you can see 17 seconds left when he was almost full time through the reload the reload is I think two times as low when you have your ammo rack damaged so he's aiming he's firing and somehow that one bounced I think he hit the gun of the S7 and the base is somewhat capped so he is probably going to get because he has his ass amorak damaged one more shot into the IS-7 because after that the counter is going to finish and there is no way he will be able to finish off this IS-7 
So the counter is at 95, last shot and finish him off. So yay, 9 kills. However, he lost. Because the object 704 was a little bitched and he kept. Well, if the object 704 driver is seeing this, I can say don't take it personal, but the thing is, this guy really deserved the win, but he couldn't have defended that. There is no way. So let's check check some post game stats. So 180,000 credits, which is pretty huge. Master Beige Ace Tanker, Redley Walters Metal High Caliber Top Gun, and Steel Wall, and 11,200. <coughs> damage done so 9 kills 6 uh, almost 1700 base experience lost to an object 704 that did less damage than how much experience he achieved detail report 23 he's received 6000 damage blocked by armor and most of the shots hit so that was a really good game so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please think about rating it and today is the last day I'll be working on a project that is thinking of a lot of my time and after that I will have a lot of time to make videos so this is why in the last period you haven't been getting so many so thanks for watching again and have an absolutely awesome day